Hey, my name's Stephen Bowles, and this is another Showflow live broadcast. Today, we're actually talking about Showflow Studio, a really powerful tool for improving your live streams. So if you're wondering when is the right time to kind of maybe considering tools like Showflow Studio, I would basically say anytime you're bored with another video conferencing uh, sort of platform or you want to kind of have a meeting that has a little bit more brand or character or pizzazz to it, these are all reasons you would jump to Showflow Studio because at the end of the day, we're designed to give you those tools and to give you those features. It's going to come in the form of backgrounds, overlays, video, graphics, the whole spectrum. And it's about creating messages and beautiful looking live streams easily. So with that, let me show you what it looks like. All right, so we're in Showflow Studio, and actually we've been streaming to it live the entire time. Uh, and you can kind of see down here in the bottom, I've got other people that are in here with me, other presenters is what we call them. And so for example, Miranda's here, and if I actually just hit add live, there she is. Hey, Miranda. Hi, Steven. So uh, Miranda's in Atlanta, uh, Georgia. I'm in Orlando, Florida. And so being able to interact with each other, it's all what we call near real time which is going to feel just like standard video conferencing stuff. And so the audio, the video, it all happens really quick. There's not like some weird delay happening along the way. I've also got other presenters down here. We can see actually John Alexander. I can add him live real quick. I can add Brock live. And so it's really easy to just kind of get, get to a really beautiful look in your live stream without any effort at all. So that's a little bit about the overview of Showflow Studio. Okay, so next I want to talk about presenter view and how easy it is for people to come in and out of Showflow Studio. So right up here in the upper right corner, it's as simple as just hitting copy guest invite link. And what I'll do is I'll demonstrate to you by going over to another browser and showing what that looks like. So all you have to do is just put that URL into a browser. So you could either receive that over a text, an email, it really doesn't matter. Um, all you have to do is have a browser, no download required at all. So if I was to come in here and say, this is John Johnson, for example, hit request access, it's first going to go into an awaiting access state. And so over here on the director side, you can see that in the upper left corner that I actually got a request from John Johnson. And all I have to do now is click approve. By doing that, if I swing back over, we can see John Johnson has been approved to come in. And now it's just a matter of him selecting the right camera and the microphones. So we're just going to choose another microphone. It's right here and another uh, camera. Hit save. And we're in the presenter view. And you can kind of see real quickly, the presenter is able to see everything that's going on on what we call live or program. So that's going to mean anything the director is doing, they're going to see you right here. And they're going to see it in real time. They've also got a really cool chat where they can come in and announce themselves and say, hello, you know, I'm John or whatever it might be. Um, you can, of course, see your own camera right here as a presenter. This gives them a sense of confidence and knowing um, that their camera's good and can kind of get their position correct. And then, of course, they've got other options across the top, including being able to stare directly at screen shares or see other presenters. Another note I'll make real quick is just by on the director side, I saw John Johnson, which is the new person, show up as a new source. But what's cool is he actually shows up as a source that's hidden. And that's by design because we want to give you, the director, the option and the choice when you want to take John Johnson live or when you don't. So in terms of taking John Johnson, Miranda, everybody live to the screen, it's actually really, really easy. So for starts, you can simply just click things like remove live or solo live. There we go. We got Barack up soloed right now. I can add Miranda up by just simply clicking add live. It's really, really simple, and that's by design. We want you to feel like a rock star and help you create these beautiful streams that look like the news, that look like the Grammys, without any effort at all. Another thing you can do, too, as a director is reorder sources. So I could actually take myself and drag it over and put it in front of John. And then the next time I take myself live or with everybody, I'm going to be in a position that's higher than John. So there's a lot of controls in terms of being able to get the exact look that you want live on the screen when you need it. So next I wanna talk about how easy it is to express your brand inside of Showflow Studio. So for example, backgrounds and overlays, they're very, very helpful and effective ways of getting the look and feel of your brand out there. So for example, right now we've been on top of this blue background, but if I come down here and just click add new, Really, you can actually browse our entire catalog. We've got loads of really beautiful graphics that you can use and choose from. I'll just choose this purpley looking one right now. Hit save. It's immediately gonna create a new background. And all you have to do is just click an eyeball 
And that's now the live background. So what that's going to do is help you actually theme different segments of your live stream. Maybe in the morning or the first 10 minute segment, you want it to feel a little bit more, uh, you know, green and exciting. And then for the afternoon segment, or maybe just even the later half of that, that morning show segment, you want to switch to a light blue. It's really easy to do that by just kind of using backgrounds as well as overlays. To that end, on the overlay side, that's going to be a very helpful way for you to actually get um, your logo, That's be able to get uh, promotional content like social media, anything like that. That's where overlays really come into play. So for example, right now, we actually have the Showflow logo in the upper left corner. And if I click this eyeball, you can see that the Showflow logo actually disappeared. If I bring it back up one more time, you can kind of see, there we go, and it's up. We've also got the um, the brand for follow us on social media and Instagram in the lower right. So a lot of ways you can use overlays. It's really exciting. At the end of the day, these are graphics that sit above all of your cameras and above the backgrounds and really just kind of help you brand your actual output. So in addition to overlays and backgrounds, one of the things you can do in Showflow Studio is actually add media sources, right? So that could be images, JPEGs, it could be videos, really you have a lot of different options. So let me show it to you. So on the media tab right here at the bottom, you're actually going to see, I've already got a couple of media files uploaded, some of them videos, some of them audio, some of them graphics. And it's really, really simple to take something live. So for example, if I wanted to solo a graphic full screen right there, that's all you got. And actually just zooming in on this for one second, you can kind of see here, this is the flow of how people come in and out of Showflow Studio. You've got presenters joining into the presenter view. You yourself, if you're going to be the director, are joining into the studio view. And at the end of the day, you're outputting it everywhere you want to go in terms of Facebook, YouTube, and others. So that's a great example of using a media graphic to tell your story and to be a little bit more exciting. What's really fun, though, is that you can have media on top of cameras. So, for example, if I come back to the presenters tab, all I have to do is just click add live and that's going to cleanly bring me in as well as the graphic. So that's really nice way for me to be able to talk over the graphics as I'm there. And then every once in a while, you can either solo me live or you can bring back the graphic as you need by simply just clicking add live. It's a really cool way to do that. In terms of types of media that you can bring in, you can bring in images and assets, but you can also bring in video playback. And video is going to really help your message and your stream, uh, I think, come to life in a little bit more compelling way. So video, for example, if you just hit add live, will play a video right there live for you. And of course, it's going to be able to be something you can set to loop. You can control the audio. You can have it over different backgrounds. What's exciting about our video playback is that it's full frame rate, which means every single frame of all that hard work you've been working on to produce these great videos, we're playing every single frame of it. It's not going to feel like a janky screen share where you're trying to share a video over screen share that never works well. These are beautiful, high frame rate video playbacks. And just as a peek reminder, on the presenter view of things, they also are seeing the video, they're seeing the background changes, all that stuff. So it's really easy for them to stay engaged with you and along with your, with your stream as you're going along. The last is audio. Of course, you can add an audio file in there, take it live, and really add some like background music and different sound effects to your stream as you're going along. So another cool thing you can do in Showflow Studio is add titles or what we call banners. So let me show it to you. So on the right side over here, you click banners. And I might, for example, want to solo myself live or somebody else. And by just clicking this little eyeball, we can bring up a nice, beautiful little lower third graphic or a title graphic um, that just kind of helps everybody in the audience know who is talking, maybe their title, um, other descriptors about them. Other ways you can use this uh, feature is actually just to build it for topics. So maybe you have three or four bullet points you're trying to hit over the course of a five or six minute message. And you can use this to create different banners, hit those different topics along the way. Again, it's really simple. All you do is just kind of eyeball on or off. And in terms of building new ones, it's actually really easy. You just come in here. You can choose from a variety of different options in terms of what the look and the template of that banner is. And then you just fill it in, line one, line two, line three, give it a color, and then you're off to the races. So banners are a really great way um, for, for your audience to really know who you're looking at uh, in terms of titles, and then also maybe to, to, to provide the topics along the way as they're talking. In terms of how you get things out of Showflow Studio, it's what we call endpoints, and it's really, really easy. So if you look over here on the right side, if you click endpoints, we've actually got three that we've created so far. So these are streaming endpoints. Um, so imagine that being Facebook or YouTube. If you're doing a more of a custom RTMP endpoint, it could go to Wowza or Vimeo. Um, 
it's really kind of the standard protocol and streaming protocol for how to get live streams to large audience. It's what we call RTMP endpoints. So it's really easy. We have plenty of documentation. So if you've never done it before, uh, check out our help articles. And we have a lot of documentation that walks you through this. But at the end of the day, it's actually just you title it, you name it where you want to go. You drop the stream URL and the stream key, which you can go get from Facebook or from YouTube or from anywhere else. And then if you wanted to, we actually have some advanced settings that you can come in here and actually set. Should it be HD? Should it be 720 or 1080? How, how many? What's your bit rate, which is really the quality of the stream? So we allow all of those to be set or you can just do with our defaults, which is a really beautiful stream right out the gate. And once you create those, that's it. In terms of getting going, you just come over here hit start stream and you're off to the races. You're streaming to Facebook, you're streaming to Wowza, you're streaming to wherever you want to be. So one of the most important things you got to do with any live stream is you got to record it. Um, so there are options for recording via your destination or the endpoint you stream to, right? If you're going to stream to Facebook or Vimeo or YouTube, they'll keep a copy of it for you. But there might be a good use case where you actually want to use Showflow Studio to do a pre-recording or rehearsals, or really there's a lot of options. But at the end of the day, you need the ability to record, not just stream. And so we have that here in Showflow Studio. If you actually just go to the right and hit the records tab, what's cool is you can actually create multiple records uh, and then we're going to keep track of them. We're going to allow you to get access to them and download them later. So it's really helpful if you're actually doing rehearsals because you can record each segment and we're going to keep track of them right here in your past record section. And at any given point, you can quickly come in here. You can download that video so you can drop it into uh, Premiere or Final Cut or whatever else you're using. You can also add it as a source, as a media source right here so that later you might do a live stream and it will be a combination of actual live content with live presenters, but maybe a pre-recorded content or segment with your CEO or with some sort of VIP. So Records is pretty flexible and really, really powerful. So make sure you check that out in Shuffle Studio. At the end of the day, if you're looking to have more control over your live stream, more of a produced experience for your live stream, being able to bring people on and off over beautiful backgrounds and looks just like you're seeing right here, then that's a perfect time to start looking into Showflow Studio. So head over to showflow.tv and explore all of our products. Uh, and at the end of the day, start a two week free trial and start streaming like a pro today.